Ay, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it's the end of the holidays. Mom? Jay? I think it's time we discuss the elephant in the room. What are you talking about? I don't see any elephants in the room. Do you? No, Mom, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's time we have the talk. The talk? About men. Men? I... Three men, to be exact. Three men? Oh, I thought that I put the parental control on the iPad. I have so many questions about these three wise men. Oh, okay. Yes. Do you want to talk to me about Los Tres Reyes Magos? Yeah. Okay, see, exactly. Doesn't Mago mean wizard? Yes. So there are three wise wizards who are kings? Okay, so what do you want to know about Balthasar, Marquial, and Gaspar? Those were their names? Yes. So why are these magical kingly wizards with weird names visiting us in the middle of the night trying to one-up Santa Claus? Well, I mean, I'm not complaining because I like more gifts, but I like to understand these things. Well, do I have to pick a side? Like, is Santa aware of this activity going on? They, so they're just like not running their kingdoms. They just go off on these road trips on the camel, and they they do they bring gifts to all kids? Is it just Catholics? They and how do they get here? They what's with the whole shoe being filled with grass and leaves? Well, they do other people do this? Or are we the only family? I wouldn't be surprised. They... Okay, I thought you were going to cut me off again. Uh, the three wise men traveled to visit El Niño Jesus when he was born in the manger. And they brought him three regalitos of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That's what they brought Jesus? Jesus. Instead of rattles and diapers, they got him Frankenstein? Frankenstein's. I don't remember reading about Frankenstein in the Bible. Yes. But it makes sense because there's a lot of undead people in the Bible. Say, cada noche yo rezo a San Lázaro. I guess gold is a nice gift. It is. What's myrrh? I think it smells good. It's like a potpourri thing. Well, it's a good thing the Reyes Malos, Magos, were not Cuban. Oh, and why is that? Because they would have gotten to baby Jesus like super late. Like they would have gotten sidetracked on the way and they would have probably stopped at a ventanita and, and had Cuban coffee, a cafecito or whatever. I still don't know what a baby would do with myrrh. It's like when Abuela got me a bottle of Violetas when I was three. Do their camels fly like Santa's reindeer? Well, they travel by... by foot or hoof. Yeah, that seems pretty sus. How come I've never seen any camels in Miami before? No, tú lo viste en el zoológico. You saw them in the zoo. So they illegally trespass Zoo Miami and steal their camels for this venture? Is that they have... Does Jesus approve of this? Ron McGill lets them borrow the camels. He's very nice, man. He knows a lot about the creatures. Okay, well, I don't understand. Like, why do they have to eat leaves and grass out of our shoes? I... There's all this grass outside. Why can't they eat that? Well, like... I mean, we leave water out for the camels? Like, they hold enough water in their humps. Well, like, the, the camel comes in, at least Santa's reindeer hang out on the roof. You know, they're just chilling and waiting until Santa pops out of the chimney or whatever, and then they go off. But these camels apparently show up in my bedroom in the middle of the night and eat this out of my shoe? I, I think that... And I don't know about it. I, I'm a very light sleeper. Well, I think 
honestly that the camels are getting the crappy end of the deal because we get gifts but then they just get to eat leaves and grass out of stinky shoes i mean they don't even have the ability to fly like what an existence I have you smelled dad's feet before yes this is all very sus very sus super sus well i think how come my friend rosalind rodriguez gets to celebrate three kings day with this really super cool uh colorful cake and it's in a circle and then they bake a baby inside why don't we get to do the cool stuff because you will choke on the baby so there's a real baby gross no it's a tiny plastic little baby and they stick it in and no no ever since Larry ate someone she was a little girl and she choked on a poly pocket Never again. I wanna, I wanna rock on, please. Me too. Well, then I'm not gonna believe in the three kings and their hungry camels anymore unless I get a cake. And the cake will make me a believer in the reyes malos. Magos. Me too. But instead of a baby, can it be a baby Yoda? His name is Grogu. You're such a nerd. Oh, Flor, look at I brought home. Oh, Benny, so how did you know about the three king cake? Three king cake? I, I just saw it, I bought a cake. Hey, it looks so pretty. They say there's a little baby inside. <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> okay. Okay, why well, not? In case you have any more questions for the evening, that is where babies come from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.